welcome to the Market Ball. Today I'm speaking with Mark Sale, CEO from First Class Metals. Mark, thank you for joining us. And with so much going on across the portfolio, you must be excited about attending PDAC. I certainly am, but uh, it's getting uh, quite a busy schedule already, Sarah. What with wanting to meet some peers and meet new people as well as business type meetings, it's it's going to be a hectic schedule. But yes, I, I like the buzz. Thank you. Can you tell us about your latest update from the Schreiber Hemlo projects? Certainly, we just uh, released um, an update, an operational update on the McKellar and Magical claim blocks. Uh, Magical first, it's a small claim block, only 11 kilometres away from the Hemlo gold mine. I won't say it's conceptual, but it's early stage, but there is um, an identified sheared contact which is anomalous in pathfinder elements, molybdenum and arsenic. Uh, and a long strike following that contact off our property is a uh, reported 16 gram valley float sample and also to the southwest other gold occurrences. So we're quite excited about that extremely early stage, but it's got all the ingredients for, shall we say, a Hemlo style deposit in that it's got molybdenum, it's gold along the contact, it's the con it is a contact and it's sheared. So yes, we're, we're looking forward to do further work on Magical. McKellar, um, we did a lot more work on McKellar and we focused on just one showing on the property, the McKellar trend, which was explored a little bit superficially in some way, shall we say, with poor respect by Naranda. And they've identified it as a potential for volcanic massive sulfide, VMS style deposit. And certainly the historic results and our results, several percent zinc, as well as um, very anomalous silver, multi-ounce silver, lead and copper. Uh, and the what we know about the geology and the structure so far lend us to um, support the idea of VMS style. But it's early days, but exciting. Um, we also reported on the, the dietary in the south of the property, where we had taken some further samples for rare earths. They are anomalous. They didn't replicate the historic ones, which were significantly anomalous. However, we weren't able to identify the historic sample locations. So the next phase for the dietary would be to go back and do some more systematic channel sampling and hopefully some stripping once we get the permits. So yes, those two properties coming along very nicely, I might say. Finally, when can we expect the results from the soil sampling undertaken at the ESSA property in November last year? Yes, it's, uh, it's an exciting uh, uh, area of ESSA, the shear. It's another shear similar to the ones that mimic Hemlo. Um, we've got almost all of the results in, so um, as I've said, watch this space. News coming soon. Thank you. And with spring just around the corner, you must be gearing up for another field season in Canada. And we'll certainly be looking forward to more updates. Mark Sale, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sarah. Take care.